pCloudy is a unified mobile app testing platform. Using pCloudy you can test your native, hybrid, mobile web apps, progressive web apps and IAT apps on. More than 500 real devices. pCloudy lets you install apps and perform manual, automation and in-field UX test execution. Select from public, private or on-premise cloud models based on your testing needs. Login To log into the platform just open a standard browser like Chrome and enter device.cloudy.com. Enter your credentials and log in. Once you log in, you will be exposed to your dashboard which will show you an array of devices, some insights and platform features based on your testing history. Devices We now move on to the most commonly used page on the platform. You will be able to see a range of Android and iOS devices under Remote Access tab. You can view all the information regarding the devices on this page. You can search for a device by its name, version or model number. You can also apply filters based on different parameters. You can connect to a device available on public cloud or book a device for future use. Select the date and time for which you want to book your device and click on book. Find all your booked devices under my bookings. You can see the instantly booked device and the devices booked for future use. Booking cancellation is also possible from this page. Get the privilege to expand your test coverage using Device Planner. Just select the country and click on Calculate. You can find the list of optimum number of devices to test your app on. Go to UDID to check UDIDs of all the iOS devices which are available on pCloudy platform. UDID is placed under the devices page to make it easier for you to test your apps on iOS devices by inserting the 14 digit UDID numbers to your Apple developer account from here. But, there is an easier process of resigning which we will talk later. My app data, uploading an app to the cloud. Now we will see how to install an app on pCloudy platform. Click on upload file button. A pop-up will appear. Click on Browse app to upload an app from your local system. Select the app you want to test on pCloudy and click on Open. A notification message will appear once your app is successfully uploaded. As informed earlier, use automated resigning which is an easier way to install apps on iOS devices. Once you have manually entered your UD number in your Apple developer's account, you need not enter it again. Just upload your app file, click on resign button. A notification will appear upload of the app file for resigning. Once uploaded and resigning is done you can access your resign file in your my app data page. Connecting to a device. To connect to a device, go again to the devices page and connect to a device available on cloud on which you want to perform your test. Manual testing of apps. A. Install an app. Now we come to the most actionable and commonly used page in pCloudy platform. Installation of the app is possible from the device interaction page. Click on install. Select the app you uploaded in my app, data page to test. Manual testing of apps. B. Device logs and performance analysis. A success notification will appear once the app is installed on the device. To monitor the device logs while testing the app, click on logs on the rightmost pane and click to initialize log streaming. All the device logs will start appearing in the logs panel. You can filter the logs or pause, stop, clear or download the logs from here. To see the performance metrics, click on analysis. A pop-up will appear. Select a package to see the performance graphs. The performance graphs will start appearing next to your device. Manual testing of apps. C. Taking and editing screenshots. To capture a screenshot, 
simply click on the screenshot button. One is to one pixel screenshot will be captured along with the skin of the device and you can see the screenshot next to your device. Select the edit button. Mark the affected area. Click on save button and save your edited screenshot with a relevant name. Find all your screenshots and edited ones next to your device itself. And you can directly log a bug in your Jira account from here itself which makes it a real collaborative feature for developers and testers. Once you click on it, a pop will appear. Fill in the details and attach screenshots and logs directly on this page to log a bug. Manual testing of apps D, geolocation. Another major feature of the platform is to set the location of your device based on lot long information set. Let's now see how to set the lot long information in the map for geotesting. Click on location tab. Enter the lot long information and click on set. Manual testing of apps. E. Testing on different networks. Another major feature on pCloudy platform is to test your apps on different network conditions. For this click on the network tab. A pop-up with different network conditions, bandwidth, location will appear for you to select. Click on shape for the network condition you want your app to be tested on. Notice the network condition selected here, and you can directly unshape the network from here. The page is loaded with some more features like adding your Google account or accessing Play Store which can be accessed by clicking on the More button. Once you finish your test session, click on Release button to release the device back to cloud. Platform will clean up the device for you. Reports Do you want to see the statistics for your test session? Don't worry we have all the data in reports for you. Click on the Reports tab. View your active sessions under My Active Sessions tab. You can revisit the device connection page by clicking here. Go to all report tabs and view all your manual and automation reports at a single place. Select the device session and click on the Reports icon to view reports. You can see a comprehensive report of your session in a new tab. You can also view performance data, videos, screenshots logs on a single page and you can also log a bug from here after analyzing your reports automation we now move to another important part of pcloudy automation automation page is designed based on a guided ui which needs zero learning you can automate your tests using open source tools like monkey espresso calabash and appium by just following the steps given on the page we have an inbuilt automation studio named Upkey where you can create, execute and export your test scripts without writing a single line of code. You can watch our video on Automation Studio to know more about Upkey. Let's see how to schedule an offline test automation using Monkey Test in this video. Go to the automation page and click on Monkey Test to schedule your automation. Click on choose.epc file to select your app you want to schedule your automation test for. Select the application under test. Fill in the event count for the fixed delay in events. Insert the time gap, single device execution time, name your test cycle and click on next. Add the devices for testing and click on next. Click on schedule to start the test. You get a pop-up message of test automation schedule confirmation. Click on yes to proceed. You will receive a pCloudy automation alert. You can view the comprehensive report by clicking the link given in the mail.